for the last several years. I did everything that I could to raise awareness about India in my country, Poland. I created documentaries and videos in the Polish language on India and its culture, which were shown in Polish schools. I even went to schools in Poland to give lectures about India. I told them about the great deeds of the Indian Maharaja, something that many in Poland had no clue about. But today, I feel very disappointed. I tried everything that I could to spread love, but a single person's effort can't remove the hatred that lies in many people's hearts. Yes, there are people in Poland who love foreigners, who do not discriminate and who are inclusive, but there are also some people in Poland who think differently. Now, according to media reports, the police in Poland has confirmed that three Indian citizens were beaten up by a group of five men. The incident took place in Przemysl, a city which is very close to the Ukrainian border. It was reported that out of those three Indian citizens who were beaten up, one was hospitalized. It is important to know that many innocent Indians, and in particular Indian students, who have absolutely no part in this conflict, are fleeing Ukraine. Many Indians, as well as many Africans, have reported incidents of abuse, racism and discrimination in Ukraine and at its various borders. Racism has always existed in Europe. A cunningly projected shiny image can't hide the truth forever. My husband had faced racism in different parts of Europe. The only thing is that situations like these have the potential to bring these stories to light. Thousands of similar incidents like these take place regularly, but never get reported. It is also important to note that Poland is playing a key role in evacuating Indians from Ukraine and officials in Poland are working together with their Indian counterparts to help those Indians who are stuck. Don't forget that there are many positive stories and positive experiences too. I am personally in touch with the Polish ambassador to India regarding this and hopefully soon I should be able to share more updates regarding this. Also, I would like to share a message. If you are from Poland and if you are not aware of the story of the Indian Maharaja who rescued Polish children during the World War II, please watch this episode. Remember, history is being written right now. How we behave and how we act today will be remembered. This is an opportunity for Poland to show to the world who we are as people and what we stand for. These Indians have already faced so much hardship and trauma in Ukraine. The Indian government is making arrangements to bring the Indian students back to India. Help them if you can. And if you can't, please don't hurt them. I want to congratulate and thank those Polish people who have shown their generosity and kindness by helping Indians and citizens of other nationalities. Let love conquer hate, please.